Oh, and Kay? Don't trust her. I'm telling you, it's Million. Million is a spy. Oh, so not what I expected was going to happen, but she did say she was done. Did she just? We must go now. Oh, we're going to get in trouble. This is where I get off. I suppose they'll be looking for all of us once the woman's body is discovered. Lucky's advice, keep a low profile. Come along, Potts. Lucky walks down the highway and into the obscurity of the surrounding swamp. We have what, we came, what we've come for, the box of Catherine's possessions, though its con content leaves me more perplexed than before we arrived. Most of what it contained was trash, scraps of paper, scribbled notes. The only thing of any interest was a dimes discount coupon card. Did your mother visit the gas station before she died? Why would S.H.I.E.L.D. think to grab it? This puts us no closer to finding Blake. What are you hiding, Million? Um, the card you swiped is not a valid American Discount Southeast Incorporated coupon card. Not valid? The card is a forgery? A fluid of thought swirls within the robot's head. Catherine, she always kept her secrets hidden in plain sight. We must search the house. There's more to find there. Oh! Oh, 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 the thing out front. The, the statue of Mary. Why would Catherine carry around a counterfeit coupon card? There must be some explanation. She was very secretive. We may find some clue hiding around the house. Don't worry, I'm already there. You insert the coupon card into Mary's face. From within the house, you hear the vague clop of something mechanical. pile has shifted since last time I looked. You clear away the boxes, revealing a portal built into the floor. Unbelievable. How many years has Catherine kept this doorway hidden? A doorway previously hidden by boxes. Oh. A dated laptop, its keyboard covered in grime. A wireless signal jammer. What would Catherine need with such a device? But that explains why we couldn't get internet upstairs. A custom-built processor. You power on the processor. As the machine breathes to life, small LED lights begin to flicker in the face of the oblong plastic device on the desk. A USB cord runs from the device to the laptop. The computer's terminal is quickly obscured by pop-ups advertising malware scanners and other products. An indecipherable static blossoms from the speakers. In distorted bursts, the noise begins to cohere into a cracked simulation of your mother's voice. Complete. Extracting 140091.zip, 3.54 MIB per second. Head drive. Driver update required. No Wi-Fi connection detected. What is it enumerating? Alpha alphabetical index. Okay. Please, is this child age 23? For your cognitive visioning, versioning needs, choose the Greater New Orleans Neur Neural Versioning Clinic. Dear God. Driver update required. Enumerating alphabetical index. Array member deleted. What is that? No, no. Please, no. If you can, you can hear, can hear me, please. Away that robot, please. Please get away. Million? I knew it. What did I say? Like, everybody was like, oh, Million, has, I haven't seen Million around in a while. She's like, no, I've been here the whole time. Wink, wink. I've been here the whole time. Oh, we're back to Catherine. To the mall, to the mall, through John's skull, through John's skull. The Garretts have been instructed to protect the sacred messenger, but they are foolish and easily outwitted. Their greatest weakness is their treachery. All you must do is catch them fibbing, lying, and going against the will of John, their idolater. And then what? Show them, for the hypocrites that they are, sow seeds of disloyalty. This will present an opportunity for you to gain what you seek. I see. 
You got any kind of recording app on that phone of yours, Catherine? If we're going to try to play these people against one another, it might help. Good point. I'll install one. Christ himself was a man of great cunning. We will be to the Garrets. We will be to the Garrets presently. Uh, Gooch. I forgot about Gooch. Garrett, my boy. Papa! You're the only one around here who still calls me by my name. The others can be cruel, can't they? It's steal one's name. So cruel. Can't get that last reading. Don't think I'll ever be a Garrett again, bruh. I'll be stuck wearing this shirt forever. Look me in the eyes, boy. Papa squats before the man. Look at your papa in his eyes. When papa takes over this mall, he will give you back your name, and the others he will deem gooch to punish them for their abuse. Patience, my boy. You're a real one, papa. Just keep a low profile. John's coming by tonight. Papa smiles wide. John's coming by tonight. Yeah, Pa, he even put a lock on the door to keep you out. The little fuck. Just record me saying the passphrase, play it for the acoustic lock, and you can come in and out like normal. My splendid child. To record voice memos, first hover over the piece of dialogue that you want to record, an icon will then ap- Ah, uh, uh, okay. Here's the passphrase, it's prayers up boys, we're going to Mars. Okay. What is this thing? Acoustic lock uses voice res recognition, so I just speak into it? It's expecting some kind of audio input put to unlock it. That did it. Door should be open. These hallways belong to the Garrett's derelict corridors forgotten by John. Whichever hallway you choose to follow will take you to the far end of the mall. That is where John has imprisoned the messenger. A giant Garrett guards the door to the cathedral. He is their newest recruit, naive in his allegiance to this profane fellowship. Let us find him and grind his allegiance into dust. A schematic of, space of a spacecraft hangs on the wall. Each vertical compartment of the vessel is labeled. At the base are the operator's commons. John's quarters sit above this, followed by Petroleum Dream, and then the Chamber of Birds. The Shepherd's Watch crowns the ship. Down the center of the thing is a dividing line labeled Jacob's Ladder. What are they getting up to in this place? It's a monument to the arrogance of John, but it won't be his to fly. A display of food props made from foam and plastic sits beneath a sigil painted onto the wall. Puck, puck, my man. Garrett, my boy, how are things in this in the hallowed corridors of this exalted place? Oh good, everyone's getting ready for tonight's sermon. John will be here any minute. Once he arrives, we're locking down the mall. I better put my phone away. I just can't stop scrolling. Been standing here for hours, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. It's all I do. John would never enter through these chambers. These hallways are yours. Scroll freely, my Garrett. I like your style, puck, puck. Gamer Garrett's. What? I just heard a. Two little Garrett's game on the tiles of the service corridor. Those are the boys that were supposed to let us in. Whoa, whoa! Don't block the screen! We're killing civilians! I'm killing civilians, dude. There's only one remote. Where'd you go? You two were supposed to let me into the mall. I got all the readings. Huh? We're killing civilians. Stop saying that. Not us. Me. I am. Are games allowed here? John lets you play games? John wants us to become our best selves. This is me at my best. You're quite good at it. Yeah, I know. That's because I practice. How often? All day, every day. The new guy gets guys get stuck doing stupid shit like working guard duty and gardening. A true Garrett knows what's really important. Video games. Kill the man wearing the little shorts. I was going to, dude. Just shut up. Can I go up here? No. A welded steel container garden sits beneath a buzzing LED lamp. The crop- A scattered mix of herbs and winter sprouts. Snacks for a garret. Healthy boys. You peruse the titles on the bookshelf. The angelic language. To speak the angelic language, one must first drink from the mouth of an angel. 
This will cause a temporary madness in the aspiring speaker before removing all internal barriers that imprison one's mind. If the aspirant is blessed with a sufficient clarity of faith, she will at this moment be prepared to receive the language spoken in the garden before the fall of man. But should she inhabit Earth, another barrier will stand between herself and the divine language. The planet is shrouded in a sphere of distortion caused by cell towers and other sources of electromagnetic field radiation. The, this blight corrupts incoming signals and makes the angelic communication that many of our ancestors enjoyed impossible. In order to speak directly with God's children, who reside in nearby corners of our galaxy, the aspirant must not simply kiss the mouth of an angel, but must travel far from the distortion of Earth. The aspirant must then pray with a pure heart and mind at the foot of an altar to the Divine Feminine. Only then will the language that encodes the fabric of our reality become intelligible. The Unnamed Apostles The Unnamed Apostles understand the highly malleable and holographic aspect of space-time and can bend it at will. They are capable of enlarging interior spaces beyond its surrounding architecture, extruding hallways many meters into walls that aren't evident from the wall's opposite side. Floors they delete through a meditative exercise, leaving a void emptied even of time between shape and shi shaper. What? This is the gift of the unnamed apostles who have been erased from scripture and made heretics by those who wish to obscure the hidden nature of Christ. Uh, hey Garrett. Papa, the immortal. Why, the most faithful among the Garretts blesses my door. As soon as we get an angel grinder, that, that won't be your closet anymore. What'd you do with Garrett? He went in there and he never came out. Perhaps you had your nose buried in one of John's heretical little books when he left. That door's coming off, you bastard. Language, Garrett, are we not in a house of God? Asshole. My secret closet, my precious closet in John's kingdom. Perhaps I'll hide here in my closet and wait for him to walk by, and then I'll pop out. Surprise! The door is locked by a keypad. What's, what's the code? It's not the time for you to enter the enter this door, dear Catherine. Oh, well... I'm confused. I thought you said... Go all the way back. Oh. I see. Hey, pup pup. You got any of that stuff from last time? I could really use something to take the edge off. The energy's bad in here, man. What is it that you desire, my Garrett? Something to clear your mind and widen your eyes? For that, I must venture to the saint somewheres. Or perhaps something that will open your art to the divine presence of God? Your papa must visit Lafreniere Park for such stuff. Or is it an easy, restful sleep that you desire? If so, Santa Claus will have what you need. Shit, pup up, that all sounds great. I'll take any of that stuff. The divine stuff, the Santa Claus stuff, just whatever, man. John's coming. John's coming. He said the, the other C word? What are you doing right now, Luke? John will be here soon to spread the good news. Where are your shoes, Garrett? John says you shouldn't wear shoes, just like the Desert Fathers. But he wears shoes. Nah, Papa, John goes around barefoot just like us, just like you. John's delicate little feet. Poor little baby, he wears sneakers. He'll be here soon, and then you can look for yourself and see. He'll make a mockery of the blasphemers who are so foolish as to disobey him. Like who? What's, what blasphemers are you talking about? Why, the new Garrett, of course. I fear the new Garrett does not take his responsibility seriously. The one guarding the cathedral right over there? Yes. You're newer than he is, goofball. My hair's much nicer, much smoother. The new Garrett. You're the new Garrett. The new Garrett who guards the cathedral does not wear his hair as he should, straightened and at the jaw as John requests. The new Garrett sins against John and will be punished. Man, you're the weirdest one here. Vendor. Oh, hey, hi. Oh, flannel ass. When did you become a Garrett? You were slinging hot dogs earlier. <laughs> Garrett. So you're into this stuff too? I was running this booth before the Garretts moved in. It looked like fun. Cool shirts. Would you like to buy a phone case? Got real nice selection. Only $5 a piece. Sure, what do we got? Been meaning to pick one up. What you got? Oh yes, I have lots of cases. What are you interested in? Uh, kisses. A case for lovers. It's decorated with hearts and kisses. No. I'll pass. How about frog? My favorite case. It's a happy little frog. Only five dollars. Sure. How adorable. I'll take it. Here you go. Would you like to look at another? What if I buy all of them? 
Yeah, I'm just gonna buy them all. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Read the selection, thanks anyway. Let's see what we got. Frog, oh, kisses, patriot. I like the frog, it's cute, but the gator is still my favorite, so. We got anything else to look at? Nope. Just gotta talk to Big Garrett. He's blocking the door. Beyond that door is the messenger. We must access it. Hey, pal. Oh, good. The ditch fairy crept out of his closet. Garrett! John doesn't want you around here. You keep showing up. I'm gonna have to do something about it. Soon we'll not have to worry about John at all. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, you twisted old freak. John and the others, other Garretts, they aren't like us. They lack our conviction. Like hell, they're here for the same reason I am. And what reason is that? Because modernity is cancer, drugs, consumerism, porn addiction, algorithms hijacking people's lives. Me and the boys reject all that stuff. I'm sorry, hold on. You reject um, algorithms and all this stuff, but you're getting people into your cult using an app? If you want to reject modernity, like, go off the grid. Anyway, me and the boys reject all that stuff. No drugs, no trash food, no soft drinks, no porn, no video games. Ah, uh, false. If I didn't trust my boys, I wouldn't be standing here right now. I promise you that. These Garrets, they will only disappoint you in the end. Nah, I know these guys. Faith, fitness, strength, virtue. That's what we Garrets are about. Oh shit. So what's back there? The cathedral. No one's allowed to enter before tonight's cer ceremony. Not even you? Nobody. I don't have the passcode even if I wanted in. They say you can get the code by reading John's scripture, but I can't make heads or tails of it. What's tonight's ceremony? No clue. The Garrett's at the Ark. They say they found John found something in the lake. That's all any of us know. Okay. Is... Hmm. An altar to the Virgin Mary sits at the foot of the central fountain in the atrium. Oh. Two Garrett's whisper and giggle quietly while watching over the atrium from the dimly lit second floor. Hmm. Sleeping quarters. Oh. The two Garrets hurl stray comments back and forth across the hallway in an exchange that resembles a conversation. Fantasy Horse 6 is designed around player agency, but it had no regard for beauty. I liked when you got to ride the cricket thing. Torment, frustration, antagonism, even indifference, these are valid things to design for. Pleasure and enjoyment aren't essential to the experience of art. You have all the agency you want, but what's the point if you can't fast travel? Ditch man, you still on that wild Da Vinci Code shit? Yes, I am, my boy. You found Jesus' grandkid yet, or what? I did indeed. She's right here with us. What, that old lady? Ha, quit. Hey, lady, are you Jesus' grandkid? Of course. Obviously. Just look at the jewel that hangs from her neck, Garrett. The jewel of Magdalene. Pup, you know I love you, but that thing looks like it came out of a cereal box. <laughs> anyway, keep it up, pup. Let's go fly Jesus' grandkids around in our rocket. Splendid. And what new trickery have you been up to of late, rotten fellow? I've been doing the same stuff as always, ripping on that bong with, like it's my job, watching hentai with the boys, putting back some cherry bang pow soda. Slurp slurp, you know how we do. John would be very displeased to know what happens in these corridors. Dude's never been back here in his life. These hallways are ours. Hallway kings, that's what we are. I kneel, I bow. Stand up, puppy. You're a king like us, a ditch king. The thrones of Garrett are arranged beside those of the Seraphim in the kingdom of the Lord. Yeah, I know. No. Oh. What now, ditch leprechaun? What must I do to show you that these Garrets are not to be trusted? Nothing you can do. I trust my boys.
Who said that? The sniveling Garrett with the sword? Bong rips? Hentai? Soda? So they're back there getting stoned and watching porn? No. Can't be. These are my boys. I trust them. As I say, dear Garrett, these others aren't who you think they are. Whatever, Ditchman. That's just one Garrett out of many. I still trust the other guys. Okay, don't worry. I'll be back. I think that's enough. I sure did, pal. All right. What? He really said that? Damn. Well, whatever. He's still a teenager. He'll snap out of it. The older get or it's no better. Pretty disappointing, though. Not gonna lie. They will only disappoint you, dear Garrett. I won't let two bad Garrett's shake my faith. God damn it. How do we... How are you holding up? Oh fine, just wish I had a snack. John says we're supposed to be fasting tonight and I want to, but it's so hard. Poor boy, we must find him a little snack. Surely there's some food around here. Parking lot is an oasis that many may say one desires. What? Pours from the partially open garage door. Are we stealing food from this garage? Catherine crouches and peers beneath the garage door. Sports commentary blares from a television in the far corner. She studies the space beyond the threshold. A compressor, ice chest, tackle boxes, stacks of cardboard, buckets of bolts and welding scrap. Kitchen supplies, a butane stove, laundry baskets filled with cans of cat food. An old candle burned to its base and tipped onto the floor. Stacks of disintegrating newspaper, a microphone stand, a collection of shadeless lamps lined against the wall as if awaiting a firing squad. Situated amongst the clutter, a man in a red folding chair watches the television, his back turned away. What are you doing? Just... Catherine steps into the garage. Wait here. Catherine regains her posture beyond the door. The man doesn't notice her. Hello. The man looks back and jumps in his chair. What in the... Catherine lifts both hands, palms out. Sorry to startle you. Hell, hell you in my garage for? This is about Bruce, isn't it? Yes. Ever since he got himself mixed up with that internet freak, people like you've been coming by asking about him. I keep saying the same thing. I don't talk to him. Can't even get him on the phone no more. We work together at the plant in Norco, but he goes out of his way to avoid me. Of course he landed a computer job while I'm busting my ass with a torch all day. Won't even look his daddy in the eyes. My kid, she left, never came back. It's hard. Hard, all right. Can't focus on nothing around here. Always waiting for him to call. Even started digging through these all these boxes looking for the little stuffed monkey he'd carry around as a kid. Sounds just like my daughter. Figured I could give it to him as some kind of peace offering. What would you tell him if he ever came back? Hell, I don't know. Get some sense? Guess I'd say. I'd say, Bruce, you're my boy, and this here's your home. Wouldn't turn you away for nothing. That cult shit, that Garrett shit, let it go. Just come back home. That's what I'd say. If you see him, if you see Bruce, will you tell him that? Hell, you can even record it and hang on to it until you see him. He blocked my number. I can't get a word to him. Now go on, get out of my garage. Dallas, what do you want? Some kind of night. What do I do about the Garrett guarding the door? Thing Super Duck wants. It must be behind that door in the atrium, the one with the big Garrett guarding it. I think you're right. So what do we do? It's like the guard said, if he didn't trust the other kids around the mall, he wouldn't be standing there, so we'll need to find some way to undermine his trust. The old man suggested sneaking recordings of the others with that phone of yours. Show the guard what they're really about. Seems like an alright plan to me. Yeah, I thought so. That's not what I, I didn't mean to... Okay. Um... So... I guess we're just going there. Kitty? Why can't I put the kitty? The urinal is nearly full, but otherwise well kept. 
What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely and inviting fixture. Okay. That's, that's my fault. Okay. Yep. Glad to see all of that. I can keep going until I... Nope. I can't. Alright. You just... Let me know when you're done. I'll be here. It's my bad. Definitely my bad. Here it is, the place where the wild things grow. Give me just a moment, won't you? I must collect something for my garret. Sure, sure. A gift, a gift for Garrett. He will be so pleased. Are we gonna go to all the places? I mean, we can. How much money do I have left? Oh, not much. Bought all those phone cases. Saint somewhere, yeah, yeah. Oh. Disinterested spectator leads, leans against the bar while watching the dance floor. Pa bell! The bell that rings! The southern bell! Good to see you, Pa. How's it been? Never a day of rest in such an unjust world. You still spying on those mall Nazis? Spying, yes. The mall Nazis so problematic. Something must be done. They know better than to come around here. Only people of virtue inhabit this place. Those driven by higher principles. Eh, you just have to know where to draw the line. So well said, Bell. Beautifully said. We mustn't tolerate jo John in our community. He's a complete fuckwit. A fuckwit, yes, and we must kill him. We must smash him into the dirt for his problematic behavior. Yeah. So what's up, Pa? You looking for some more dust or something? Have you any to spare? I can only let go of a gram. Plenty for Pa, Pa. Just a little. Just a taste. Twenty-two, same as last time. Pa, Pa looks to Catherine. What? She'll be paying tonight, my southern Bell. What? Cool, whatever. If you're sending a transfer, I only take quack. Just leave the message empty. Catherine scowls into Papa's smiling eyes as she cues the transaction. Sent. Cool, got it. Bell reaches into an interior vest pocket and passes a small green baggie to Papa. Keep up the good work, Pa. Every last small Nazi shall perish in the flames of my rocket. Cool. Hey, Santa. Saint Nicholas. Ho, ho, ho. Pup, pup, you wretch, you fuck. You old immortal fuck. Fucker, motherfucker. Ho, ho, ho. Are you here for that good stuff? That good, nice stuff? Pour it in my mouth. Pack it in my throat with your rotten hands. No. <laughs> no? No, you wretch. Santa jingles his bell toward Catherine. She gave my dollar away. My dollar. No. She did? Papa looks to Catherine with overwhelming disgust. Did you give his dollar away, dear Catherine? Uh, it was not... <laughs> It was my dollar, not his. Papa spits into Catherine's face to the cackling delight of Santa Claus. What the fuck? <laughs> Literally what she says to you guys can't see it yet, but it'll. What the fuck? Catherine tries to grab Papa by the collar of his drenched garment. But it comes undone in her hand. What an awful callous thing you said, Catherine. Every dollar is Santa's dollar. Yeah, pump pump. Sure is the truth. Let's go. Let's just go, you selfish miserly woman. <laughs> what is happening? Let's go back to the mall, I guess. Which one of them is the one that, like, is the... We got the Bruce. Bruce. Which one's Bruce? I guess we could ask Keith for food. Hey, Keith. Kate, I feel bad about it. what I asked. I didn't mean for it to come out like that. Forget it. I just needed a second. Any developments on your end? No, not a thing. Nobody coming in or out. In fact, I might call it. Go grab me something to eat. Be seeing you around, sister. See you around, Keith. go. Hey again, Pa. Oh. Chips! Oh, and they're so moist. <laughs> Finally, some real food. John told us we're supposed to be fasting. No thank you, I'd much rather enjoy a bag of perfectly moistened potato chips. Alright, in we go. 
phone will be here any minute. Once we're here, I better put my phone away. Yeah, I don't know which one's Bruce. What did he say about it? Hmm. Is this Bruce? No. Hey, so like, you got any of that stuff? That stuff you were talking about? I don't remember which one was which. Here you are, my boy. Something to open your minds out. You're always coming through. A little something psychedelic will help me through the evening. It'll help me... Honestly, you couldn't stand... Seriously? No, listen. Hey there. I do actually. I got this one. Oh, he's not. Oh, Gooch isn't even a full Garrett. He's too slow to get to the last reading, but still. Sorry that these Garrets have hurt you again. This sucks, man, but that's only three of them. You serious, dude? Garrett's over there tripping before the sermon? Whatever, everybody knows how he is. He shakes his head angrily. Pisses me off, though. Just pisses me off. Yet again, a Garrett has disappointed you. How much more of this are you able to take, dear Garrett? I don't know, man. I'm really starting to lose it. Nah, you know what? I'm sick of taking this whole thing seriously while everyone else is a creep, fuck-up, stoner, loser. I grew up poor, okay? I don't have shit growing up. All these degenerates around here come from money. I wanted something good. I'm tired of always being alone. But forget these people. I'm not going to space with these clowns. Plus, my mom's making roast beef tonight. I don't need to be here. Fuck you too, Papa, freaky little dude. Peace. Nice. Uh... Yeah! I knew those numbers would come in handy at some point. Door should be open. Let's check. Breathe, Catherine. Salvation awaits beyond this door. Oh no. Not the puppet show. Oh, it's the light. What is... where are we? This is the cathedral? Hey there. Hi there, ho there. Oh, I see. Hey. Where'd you go? Oh. There it is. Catherine holds her hand out to the thing as it draws nearer. Is it sniffing you? I don't feel so well. Dallas offers his hand, but it quickly recedes. Super was right, it seems to like you. The messenger has sought her, for a very long time it has. An eye of God, an angel, a halo on her head. Catherine stares into the fluid within the sphere. It's a vessel of the divine and it will lead us to a better world. Where is this better world? There's no way to know. It will lead us. I'm just here for the money. The monster bird is as much a fool as John to think that he can imprison God's light. This message that it carries is no one's but yours, Catherine, and when you are gone, it will seek your kin. Why? What does it want with me? What animates your faith? What do you see when you pray? Catherine shakes her head. When you gaze into the eye of God, what do you see? A kind of infinity? A map? A maze? The children. Kay, Blake, I see them. Yes, the blood of Christ fills their hearts. You're insane. You're living in a morbid fantasy. Your incredulity will not stop what's coming. What's coming? Salvation, of course. I've heard enough of your lunacy for one night, and I hear the Garrett's gathering beyond the door for John's little sermon. The sphere shrinks in size and hides itself within the, a fold of Catherine's coat. Let us go and bend John's ear. Oh. 
Here comes the little dweeb. Do you see him? Do you hate him? He's dressed like a funny little clown. Don't you just want to kill him? Look, look how disgusting, slimy like a salamander. Garrets, thank you for gathering here this evening. Let us please lower our voices so we may pray. He stares upon the crowd before making a sign of the cross. We bow our heads and pray. And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. John looks down at the crowd, whispering the refrain, Into the wilderness, once more. While on an excursion to the ark, I witnessed that which we have long awaited. I was blessed to observe an egg filled with, with a sublime illuminated chrism. Of all the faithful, it was mine to behold. What a stupid ass. Not his. Yours. Yours, Catherine. Is someone talking? I'm going to need everyone's attention. It appeared to me in the sky, a dove of pure light but circular, as is the halo above the head of the shepherd of God. No spirit will hang upon his head when I rip it from his neck. I can't wait. Okay, whoever's talking down there, cut it out. This is important. Continuing. The Holy Spirit, radiant and circular as a halo, that is the source of the shepherd's authority in this low world. In the swamp beyond the wall, the Holy Spirit descended from the sky to rest upon my head. Then how splendid is the glory of God that it should come at such a time as this. As we complete the ark that will unite us with the world above, the Holy Spirit will fill me. He will never board the ark. It will bless me with the knowledge of a twilight language capable of passing through the walls of this earthly prison, a language that reaches the furthest corners of the accuser's den. Our ark, as was the ladder of Jacob, is a bridge to those higher realms. Tonight I will drink the ointment of the Holy Ghost. I will call upon the faithful who have walked this bridge before us. They will shine a beacon and guide us to our home. Any questions? No questions? It's a pretty big deal. Okay, so I thought this was going to be more like a check-in type thing. This sounds really cool, the egg and stuff. Sounds super cool. But I wanted to ask about the new uniforms. Are you fucking kidding me, Gooch? You're not even supposed to be in here. I know, I know. I just, no one else was saying anything, so... This new uniform sucks. We're going to space looking like this? Like work, like we work retail? Seriously? Just save it. Nobody cares what you look like in space. I'm quite pleased with the new outfit. Dude, you're such a freak. You're like a wild spirit from another dimension. Why, thank you. Yeah, you're like some kind of hellspawn. Yes, thank you. Garrett, you okay? You're looking off. I don't mind you guys. Everything's just kind of everywhere. We're all just one thing, Garrett. What is happening here? So that's it? We're sticking with these shirts? I'm with Gooch. I thought we'd be wearing dope robes like John's got. Yeah, brah. Or maybe Templar stuff? Like armor and stuff. Exactly. Powerful stuff. Sh shut up, please. All of you shut the fuck up. Idiots. You want to LARP around dressed like knights? That'd be tight. <sighs> John inhales deeply. You wanted me to call you all Garrett. I call you all Garrett. You wanted uniforms, I got uniform. We are an ascetic community. As the desert fathers wore garments of hair, we don humble attire. You don't. Yeah, your fit looks cool. We look like dorks. Your vanity is blasphemous. Papa strikes to attention. Vanity? The old man laughs to a point of shrieking. Woo! <laughs> Who among us has not seen the selfies of John? So Papa has decided to join us, has he? The demented ditch man has come with his pickled brain. The messenger did not come to you, you fool. You abducted it and are now holding it captive. False. You are not the child of Christ. Don't even start with that Da Vinci Code bullshit. Your arrogance will cost you your head, Johnny. Papa turns to Catherine and whispers, Go, now it's my closet. There is a key with which you may exit this mall. The foolish, pathetic old man on the door is a keypad, the code. Do you have anything to say that, to that, you deranged loser? Go ahead, go, and listen closely to what I say. Papa and John's argument rings through the corridors of the mall. I just didn't, I wasn't paying attention to when he like started speaking, okay. Hurry, sure. Oh god, okay. Aluminum rack stocked with clean cleaning products and janitorial supplies. Is this some kind of utility closet? Must have been once upon a time. Uh. The decorative wine cask is made from a thick vinyl material. It has a price sticker partially torn from its face. Someone's in there? Sure seems like it. 
We need to do something. The hell is this? Another acoustic lock. Hold the button there and speak into it. Uh, here we go again. Right, let's, let's see what else we got. There we look here and Lumen marks up with me. A bed of straw, partially wrapped by a filthy cotton blanket. How long you figure this guy's been sleeping in here? Long time by the look of it. Who was here first, John or him? Good question. Um. A Irish scroll. scroll. Dallas rubs his fingers over the sheet. It just seems like regular sandwich paper to me. It's blank. Maybe, or maybe there's something in it we just can't see. Wouldn't put it past this guy. Oh. Lettering appears on the scroll. Catherine, pray before her mother and child through the eye of John. Be patient in your prayer and wait. The fuck? Okay. Youthful Madonna holds the lifeless body of Christ. Oh. He's, yeah. Uh. What am I supposed to do? Because it said through the eyes of John. Uh. Through the eyes of John. Oh no, I don't. Uh, not a. Catherine, it's a rather modest cell, isn't it? I've prayed deeply while awaiting your arrival. The outcome was never subject to doubt. You, here, the messenger, here, a moment authored by God. Time will erode your body, but you will re not remain on this earth. I will return you to the stars. The bird freak thinks it will commune with the infinite. Annihilation will be its only home. I've left you a key, my most favored boy. Of, of, Fafa. Okay. Man, what the fuck? Oof. Who are you? What is this? I gotta get out. Out! Gotta get out! Gotta get out! Relax, we're not gonna hurt you. Where is he? He's not here. You're safe. We need a key. Do you have a key? I have keys. I have keys. Just move. Fucking move. I gotta go, man. Go. Move. Garrett springs from the cask and pushes his way past Dallas and Catherine, quickly unlocking the door. Well, I guess that was the key Papa was referring to. I don't want to spend another second in this mall. Me either. Let's go. Oh. Uh. Like he went that way. I can't go that way. Okay. Oh. Looks like Garrett made it out. Let's follow suit. That was awful. Worse than City Hall. We've got the stone. Now what? Now we bring it to Super Duck and collect our money. Do we? Wallet transfer received. Oh, and I think that's where I'm gonna end it. Um, save it. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna save it and finish this up next time. I think we probably only have one more session before we finish the story so um let me know if you're liking this if you enjoy this kind of like narrative not really like there's no action here i mean there's a couple fights but let me know if you know that if you like this like narrative style game i have a bunch of them on my list um that i can record and share with you guys otherwise i'll you know keep them to myself um but anyway thanks for watching you know do all the things uh if you want um I can't make you. So see you next time. Hopefully. Bye.